Hey everybody, this is Corey Rayshawn, also known as Ray Vision and the Ponder This World. The Ponder This is the other side of me, the spiritual side, the one that um, speaks from the heart and not so much from the mind. Uh, but either way, I come from the heart. With In business, it's heart and mind, right? I just want to wish everybody a very happy and healthy um, weekend. It's Friday. Um, and we're just moving into a world, you know, I'm listening to the news, I'm listening to everything that's going on around us. Um, some people are confused, some people are lost, but the best thing to do is just stay focused. I am, that is my theme for this year, all around. Stay focused in your heart, stay focused in your mind, stay focused in your business, stay focused in your family. Stay focused with self. You know, understand who you are in all of this. Take a look at where you stand, what you really think and what you really feel, because the world is going to offer so many options for you to jump on board, but really it's about self. You know, as individuals, as individual creatures of a larger element of the universe, we are only cells of something larger than who we are. And to be so concerned um, about how other people are living, we should be concerned about how we are living, right? And so, um, from a spiritual standpoint, love, you know, is going to be what has to carry us through the next four years. Um, we are definitely seeing a sign of ego, for sure. And, and how do we combat that? We can only combat that through the act of love and caring for our neighbors. Um, love thyself. You know, or love your neighbors as thyself, right? And love, uh, love God with all your heart, soul, and mind. Um, keep that in mind. Let that be your focus. And then you, you, you'll not only be, not really be judging somebody else's life, but you'll be, um, you'll be blessing someone else's life. Um, if you think that way, you know, your rights as an individual should be the same rights as some other individual. Well, however they live, as long as they're not bothering or killing or, you know, you know, uh, hurting anyone else, and they just want to live freely. That's what we should all be thinking about. How can we all live freely and independent? Um, uh, but freedom is really the act of love, and it's the greatest gift of all, which is love. So um, I'm saying all that to say, be good to yourself this weekend. You know, start learning yourself in the days ahead. Find out who you really are. We've been told so much. We've been seeing so much. Images around us are giving so many, so many um, ways of thinking that are not really ours from, from the internal aspect. You know, they're not ours. Um, so claim your belief. Claim your faith. Claim the understanding of who you are. You know, go inside and... and Process your thoughts. Ask yourself why you even believe in them. You know, what caused you to? Was it because someone said something to you? Or is it that you experienced something? And that's why you think that you, why that's the way you think. Um, or that's why you think the way you think. Um, start conversing with more people. Start talking about yourself. You know. Start having these intellectual, spiritual conversations and expand your mind a little bit. But but come from the heart of your expansion as well. And maybe we'll talk a little bit about that um, too. But it's the weekend. It's going to be a time to resonate with self this weekend and focus on who you are, why you are, and what is it that you're going to do, what is your part in all of this um, moving forward? And how can you expand peace? How can you expand love? And how can you expand freedom? Um, because the world is watching. The world is watching. And we're going to need each other. Hand by hand. No hate. No hate. So, enjoy your weekend. Get to know who you are. Go inside. Um, if you meditate, meditate. If you pray, pray. If you go into silence, go into silence. If you need to conversate, conversate. Do what it is to, for you in order to expand you and know yourself. And come at it from the heart. Remove the mind. Come at it strictly from the heart. A place of love. Peace.